Hey, how's it going viewers? I just want to make a quick video on how I do my like quick edits. So I'm just gonna make a speed tutorial real quick on how I do my really fast transitions that are like snappy and then how I like um, time stuff to the music and make it pop if you know what I mean like so get your clip in here and then I got my I got my song don't roast me I know it's just a terrible song so but we're gonna make a new composition make it 10 seconds long I'm gonna drag in my clip we are going to go to the part where I want to use I know it's gl my after effects glitch and now my computer's bad so I want to start here where we're, we're d just dancing off we're like rapid dance battling press alt bracket it'll crop it and then we're gonna drag this to the start. We're gonna dance, we're gonna dance. Yeah, I know it's really, really low quality. Okay, right here, I wanna switch and I wanna switch it to when I shoot him. So press Alt and then right bracket, Control D or Command D on a Mac. Drag this clip out, find where you shoot him, right before you where you shoot him. So like, for me, it's gonna be right about here. And then I'm gonna press Alt and left bracket, which will trim it, drag it up, so it just transitions smoothly. And right there, I shoot him. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, drag this little time key over, right click, trim comp to work area. So now you got, this is your whole composition, you don't have any like wasted space. Drag in your music and find the spot in your music where it hits. Okay, so welcome back. Um, I have found the part of my audio where it, it hits the bass, which is like right here, right when I shoot him. So you can hear. All right, it's timed up. And what you're going to want to do, since I was dancing my first clip and no one wants that audio in there, just click the little key over here, it'll mute it. So now we've got our clip, just to make it more beautiful, click the click T, it'll bring up opacity, drag it all the way down, click the little key, uh, go in about 10 to 15 frames, drag it back up to 100. Now I've got this nice little like black to white effect. Okay, so we've already got our clip lined up pretty much. What you're going to want to do now is go right onto the transition key, which is right here where the clips transition. Click Layer, New, Add an Adjustment Layer, and then go back 13 frames. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Press Alt and the left bracket. Go back to it. And then go forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Uh, crop that off. And what you're going to want to do is drag in a transform and then drag in a motion tile I should have done this the other way okay now what you're gonna need to do is drag a motion tile up or just put it on before the transform when you do it uh, I'll zoom out to show you what it does so zoom out with the transform oh this needs to be above the layers so if you zoom out with the transform where is it? Scale. Okay, so zoom out and then go up to motion tile. If you drag this, it'll basically replicate the edge of your frame. So set both of these to 250. Depends on how much you're going to zoom it. Click mirror edges. It'll make it a lot smoother. We're done with that. So now go right to the transition key and then select scale. Put out, uh, no, go to the first frame. Put scale at 100. Put everything back to default that you're going to use. Select it and I'm also going to use rotation in this tutorial so select rotation skip to the middle frame and then only set one here actually no yeah so go to the frame right before it transitioned which is right here zoom and scale to like a thousand something click forward one frame zoom it out to like 70 maybe a little less wait that's good and then zoom to the very last frame that this is an effect which is right before the very last frame actually so go back to a hundred if you go to the last frame you can't see your transitions because it's not affecting it okay, so we got right here basically we have our basic transition oh yeah we didn't set the rotation so I'm gonna put this at one you can put this either way so now we have this transition which looks absolutely horrible and yeah my audio is not completely aligned let me fix that so basically we got our basic transition it zooms in and rotates which is what's going to happen but it looks terrible so click U it'll come up with all the keyframes select only the scale keyframes click on this graph editor and then you're gonna wanna make everything easy ease so zoom in a little bit with this little key click the easy ease option uh, drag this out make sure it's not below like it, it make sure it doesn't dip down here cuz that'll just look weird it'll zoom it out first if you, if you know what I mean actually I wonder if you probably could do that yeah, okay, I'm actually going to try that. I haven't tried this before. And then click up here, click Easy Ease, drag it straight down. You want it to come into that as hard as you can. So now we'll have this easy effect where, like, 
zooms out and then goes like pops through if you know what I mean I'm gonna make this a little gent more gentle so now it barely goes out but it still does it and then we're gonna click over here drag this one down as hard as you can make these ones easier you don't really need to change this much here just drag this one, this little one out click on the very last keyframe select that and just keep it there so now we've got this effect where it does this cool zoom and then it like pops through and it zooms back and like easy eases in so it doesn't look harsh movements uh, select your rotation keyframes and go into the same thing these are a little different there's only two select easy ease hold shift so it's a straight line drag it out about about half like that far and then select the top one easy ease hold shift drag it out go to the frame where it transitions so right from here to here and then what you're gonna want to do try to make the rotation the line thing try to make it like as even as you can right there so it starts to speed up okay um if you're having these black boxes go back up to the motion tile and then turn up the width to like 300 or something okay actually I'm gonna do a little bit more oh holy crap okay um okay so that should that should be good and now we've got this basic transition it easy zooms in okay so let's preview that okay so it's not looking the best what you can do to help this is select the mo uh, the motion blur effect select on the layer now it's starting to look real okay. how did I still not lined up okay now the audio should be lined up Pretty much one more frame okay so one other issue we're kind of having here is I just don't like the look of the scale so we're gonna go back in there I'm gonna set this back to what I normally do hold shift to make it flat drag it this one should be easy hold shift to make sure it doesn't do this wonky stuff okay now it's flat on either side so it should just like whip in and then pop through pop through to the next frame which is what I'm going for just like that. Okay, it's starting to look better. Um, you can use plugins such as RSMB that cost money to make this effect look a little bit more convincing with the motion blur and everything. So then what we want to do is go to the point where he initially shoots, which is right there. Layer new, adjustment layer, add the new adjustment layer, crop it off, drag on something like brightness and contrast. You can do this with curves, you can do it with all that stuff. I'm just going to use um, l uh, magic bullet looks in this case. So drag on looks. But we're gonna edit it to what we want it to look like when it hits. So I'm just gonna add like a little bit of diffusion, uh, maybe a little vignette. Vignette looks nice. Here, I'm just gonna drag it out. I don't want that much. So right there is some vignette and then some diffusion to make it glow a little bit. I'm gonna change down the size. I'm gonna turn up the exposure. So it's gonna hit like that. We want the glow to be up just a little bit. I'm gonna drag the color up to purple because that makes it look kind of nasty, you know. Um. Another thing you can do, which is pretty cool, is you can add an anamorphic flare. Make sure you turn this down. This will so overpower your scene. Turn down your boost. Change your threshold. This will make like the amount that appears lower. Actually, yeah, turn down your size, unless you want it spreading across your screen. I'm going to turn down my size a little bit and turn uh, down the threshold. And then, okay, that's not looking bad. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to make this orangey. Yeah, let's make this orange color. See if that does anything cool. Okay, so now we've got our little scene here with all of our like streaks on it. Like if you can see what I mean. Um, what you want to do is click on your audio layer, type in bass and treble, drag that in, turn both of them up to 100, and then right click the layer, and then keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes, drag this to the bottom, go into it, go into the effects, delete the left and the right channel. So you only have both effects. Open that up. You can see the slider. This is all the keyframes when it'll hit. Click back up into this layer. Click the down button. Effects, looks. And we're going to adjust the strength because that's how much of the effect is going to be applied. So hold the Alt key. Click the little stopwatch. Drag this pick whip. Drag the pick whip down on the, onto the slider. It'll get the effects now. Um, did I? I don't know if I got it. Okay, I know I got it now. So, uh, okay, I did it double. I... I've done a double. Okay, so now go back up, do the same thing again because I just messed it up. I'm gonna 
alt click drag the pick whip onto the slider okay now I got it it'll it'll only hit on the on the beat basically you can also change um, make so these, these are free you can find these on uh, VFX bro or whatever they're called camera shakes just drag in a random I like I like five I think I think it's number five okay so basically it'll zoom in and it'll shake the camera it'll make it look like all natural and organic make sure you want to select all these so you don't screw with all of them slide them out I like to turn up just a little bit it if I if you don't it's a little it's a little not enough it's just not enough for me um make sure motion tile yeah the widths are already up actually in the presets so basically you've got your basic setup going on here it's not looking bad basically it goes in hits let's preview it right, let's watch it again here we go Okay, it's not looking bad. So now what we want is we want like a little a little pop, right? When he shoots him to show like the I don't know, like the bounce back from the gun, if if that makes any sense. So let's go back to right when he hits. Layer new oh that that was an accident. Okay, so what have I done? Click back in there, okay. Layer new adjustment layer. And you're gonna wanna Okay, so just go back a little bit to like right here so it can fade in. Uh, crop that go past it a little bit to like right here crop it search up optics compensation drag it in um, go to the point where he gets shot which is right here drag this up to like a hundred and forty click reverse lens a little more than that like that 150 Keyframe it, go back to the very first frame, go back to z set that back to zero, and then go to the very last frame and set it back to zero. Sorry if I'm going too fast, I'm just trying to make a quick speed tutorial. Okay, so um, now you've got this cool little effect. We want to do the same thing we did with the transition, so click U on your keyboard, select the keyframes, curves editor, click up here, nope, not the box, okay, up here, easy ease it, drag these straight down, like that. Click down here on these, drag them across holding shift, drag this one across, across holding shift. Now this is going to be a really fast transition actually, so click back up here, and nope, make sure you only got one selected, drag this one like that, just a little bit, so we have, we can see the effect last a little bit longer, but then you want to drag this one back. Okay, so we got this effect going on. Okay, it'll, it'll look cool, so... It does this cool little zoom thing in. Um, what you can do now is, since you've already made your effect, click Control D on it. Not not that. Make sure you have the layer selected. Click Control D. It'll duplicate it. Wait for the audio to hit again. Which is like right about here. Drag it over. Okay. It's gonna. This is gonna take a little bit of time, to like tuning. So let's see how it works. Okay, so that works. Um, all right, right here seems like another one, so let's duplicate it and drag it right on over. Okay, right there. And I mean, you you could do more. I'm just gonna do that for this video. I'm gonna crop, trim this up a little bit. Okay, so now we've got our basic just scenery. It zooms in, hits. Um, you might want to go back into your effects and you can turn them up a little bit if it's not giving you like the bang that you want. So go back into here, turn up the amount of glow. I actually forgot to do this the first time. Um, also go in here. This this makes it look pretty cool. Um, where is it? You can add a lot. Um, I would do. Where is it? Okay, I'm looking for this. Um, I, th I don't think it's it might be yeah okay chromatic aberration looks pretty cool so this will basically split all your layers if, if you see what's happening it splits like the red green blue from the layers if you can kind of see what's going on um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add that for now maybe make the vignette like a little bit stronger yeah okay so that should look that looks pretty nice actually you know what I'm just gonna full overblow this thing I'm gonna turn up everything Turn down the vignette. I'm I'm just gonna add like a straight up 
Um, let's see. Is there a... We don't want a warm filter. Maybe like... Let's see. Okay, let's throw this on there. Um, sim style. Okay, that looks pretty cool, I guess. Punchier. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that looks pretty sick. So now it'll actually like really hit in with like... And just change... It'll change the whole mood of it when you start shooting them. So let's have my beast of a computer um, render it out. Okay, so that's that's your effect. Okay, so I'll I'll just play this at the end of this. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope this can help you. Please leave a comment if I should make more videos like this. There, I actually enjoy making them. I like editing. That's kind of why I started this whole thing. Um. Yeah, I can definitely show you guys more advanced tutorials on how to like perfect this and make it look better. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe. See ya. Listen. Guys, one thing I totally forgot to mention is add sound effects. It will make it so much better.